right, hey everybody. Uh, welcome to a series of videos for Australia Mountain. Uh, what we're gonna do here for our baking theory class is we're gonna do some time-lapse video with um, just a regular, simple hard roll recipe. Uh, we're gonna get it mixing here, just like you would in a normal class, right in you know, FOM 180, anything like that. We're gonna let it proof, and we're gonna bake it in our oven. We're actually gonna take a look uh, bake it at the right temperature with steam. It's going to look really nice. And then we're actually going to we're going to play around a little bit. We're going to take the steam away. And by looking at that, we can see you know do we get a good product versus a not so good product. So hopefully it's interesting. Gives you something to look at on online here. So all right. So we're going to get going here. We've got our our yeast in a little bit of warm water here. So we're going to just get this going a little bit. Always good to bloom your yeast, mix it up so you don't uh, get any yeast not distributed well in our dough. So no big deal there. Get that going into our work bowl. Got our egg white. Shortening. Save our salt and sugar for last. Got our sifted flour. And let's get it started. All right, we've had our dough going for about eight minutes total here, so let's pull it off and take a look at it. And we're gonna check it for a gluten window as well. Like any good dough, we wanna make sure it's got enough gluten going before we put it in for bulk fermentation. Round it out here just a little bit. Let's take a look. Nice soft dough. Kind of funny to have a soft dough when we're making hard rolls, but there you go. Hope I can see that on camera. Pretty thin. Looks good. So we will just roll it, round this out a little bit and put it in our pan to bulk ferment for an hour. Some oil on one side, on the sides. Push it down, and we will let that go for an hour. All right, we're back. Uh, just to catch you up on where we are, we uh, mixed our dough, we let it bulk ferment for an hour, we rolled out our rounds two and a half ounces, we put them back into the warming drawer, that you know, warming drawer or proof box, whatever, with moisture. Let them rise to about one and a half times. Uh, I was bad, I kind of cheated here. I kind of stuck them all on one tray just to make it a little bit easier on, on me. Uh, if you're doing this in the kitchen, obviously, on campus, you're not gonna want these to touch because they're gonna deform just a little bit. But we're gonna do these in batches. Uh, as we said, we're gonna do some the right way, at the right temperature, with moisture, and then we're gonna play around a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab five of these and move them over. Gonna be real gentle with them. Nice and light. Because we actually want to eat these when we're done. This is not just for your pleasure to watch this on Blackboard or on our web. This is for, for us to eat around the production kitchen here. All right, I could have done a you know, fun little thing with putting these together and doing pull-aparts, but that's not what we're doing today. We're just going to bake these up. Got a nice sharp knife. I'm just going to give these a little bit of a slit. Just a little one. That'll help some of that gas escape as they bake up. And we're going to take these 
nice hard rolls over to the oven and get these baking with moisture. All right, these have gotten nice and golden brown. Let's go over here on the counter and take a look at these. Let's see if we can uh, do this without burning ourselves. Sound hollow, nice golden crust, pretty hot too. Um, now, I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do you know, same rolls, same pattern, same oven temperature. I'm actually gonna take that big pan of the, the nuts and bolts and everything there with the water that helped to steam it to get this nice golden crust. We're going to run them another batch without moisture and what we should see is we don't get such a nice golden crust on our rolls. That's why we like to use moisture in the first part of our baking. <music> We have our second batch of rolls here without moisture, same temperature. And we're actually going to let these cool for a good five minutes. I'm actually going to take them off of here and just put them over here and let them cool. We're going to cut them apart and compare them, see if the grain's any different, see if the size is any different, and uh, we'll see why we use moisture. All right, we are back. Uh, we've finished up our time-lapse baking video. You saw them in the oven. Uh, rising with, with steam and without steam. Uh, so we've got our two batches here, just to look here. Uh, the batch here was the proper way with steam at the beginning of baking. Uh, they're, they're color wise are pretty close. You're, you're probably not going to be able to see that on camera. But uh, what we're going to try to do here is it's a nice thin crust. Breaks pretty easy. Smells good. We're going to cut these open in a second. Now the rolls that we did without steam, uh, what we found is they're a lot tougher because we didn't have that moisture in the oven while they were still rising a little bit in the first bit of uh, time in the oven. And so it keeps them a little bit smaller and uh, the crust is thicker. So it's not going to be, you know, I got to press pretty hard to get these to break. But uh, let's cut them open here and see what the, the crumb looks like. Get that nice, uh, you know, homemade bread, fresh bread, where you get that that crumb that comes off. Not too bad. Got a little bit of open grain there. Nice thin crust. Let's take a look at this one that was done without moisture. Actually, not getting as quite of nice of a grain that you know coming off of it as I'm cutting it, but. Uh, see if we can compare the two here. Ugh, if I don't drop it. Uh, probably can't tell on the camera there, but this one's got a little bit different of color. It's a little yellower. The crust is definitely thicker on this one, which we would expect without the moisture. It just immediately gets hard in the oven and it holds it down. The crumb here is arguably a little bit tighter, where this is a little bit more open. Again, you have the moisture in the oven, it lets it rise better. So, kind of interesting. That's why we do things like this. Give you something that you can't see in the textbook. Something a little bit different, help you learn here at Australia Mountain. So, uh, we're going to turn the camera off and I think we're going to get a little butter and jelly and maybe a little ham and cheese and we're going to try these out. We'll see you next time.